In California, there is a cult known as surfers. And some of you might know about surfers. A lot of you might have missed out on this part of your social history. Surfers are uh, they're young people with bleached blonde hair and uh, they have a suntan. You don't know what that is here. And they have cut off pants, which makes them look sort of funky and authentic and nature boy style. <clears throat> and they have rubber sandals called harachis. And they have these things called surfboards, which are made out of wood and fiberglass, gaily painted. And then, of course, they have the woody wagon, which is an old station wagon with wood paneling on the side. Or if you're too cheap, you paint wooden paneling on the side. And uh, you live this life where you like to go to the beach all the time, even if it's freezing cold and you, you know, jump out there and flop around in the water and then swim out with your surfboard and ride in on the waves. It's very thrilling and it gets you a lot of pussy you know, with the surfer girls. <clears throat> and similar uh, mating practices exist in all walks of life. Truck drivers have certain things that they do to get laid. Newspaper writers, they all have their own little thing. And there's uh, girls that go along with each one of these stupid games. They're all broken down into little uh, pockets of resistance. Anyway, we have these surfers, and they have this curious uh, thing called the brownout, which is part of their culture. Now, the brownout is a thing that you do to impress your surfer friends and to make uh, other people's eyebrows go up and down. And what you do is you get the other person's attention, you wave at them, or you say something amusing, and they turn around and look at you, and then suddenly you reverse your position, drop your pants, and stick your buns out at them. That is a brown out. <clears throat> also known as a brown, and also known as mooning on the East Coast. And there, there are a number of variations on this procedure. If you brown out against a wire screen, it's called the chip beef. And if you do it against a plate glass window at a delicatessen, it's the pressed ham. Last year, before we did our festival hall show, we arrived at the airport and we were provided with a touring bus with nice big windows so everybody on the outside could see in and we could see out, you know, the lovely ride from the airport to the Winton Hotel. And uh, during this trip, a wager was made between Jimmy Carl Black, the Indian of the group, and Bunk Gardner, our silver-haired tenor saxophone virtuoso. Jimmy Carl Black turned to Bunk Gardner and said, I'll bet you a pound you won't brown out on this here bus. Bunk Gardner, being the crafty silver-haired devil that he is, quickly computed the difference between a pound and a dollar and had his pants off before anybody knew what happened. Now this, I can tell by the applause that you admire him for doing this. I can tell that you're trying to project into it desperately, may even be able to identify with it, and who knows, tomorrow on the street, a new rash of social disturbances. It may be the thing to replace flower power. <laughs>